Daily landfill traffic is brought in. We separate uh, mom and pops, that's people cleaning out their garage, and uh, from the trash haulers, which are trash trucks and 70-foot uh, long transfer trucks. And in these two areas, we place the trash, we compact it, and the function of the tarp it satisfies our regulatory requirement of covering the trash. Uh, rather than placing six inches or a foot of dirt on top of the trash, which takes up, which takes up valuable airspace, that's lost dollars to the county, the tarp replaces that. The commodity of landfill airspace is, is the end game here for us at the county. Um, it's a zero sum game. Uh, the more uh, uh, dirt that we use to cover the trash, the less airspace we have available uh, for trash placement. And uh, that's direct dollars coming into the county. So the tarps are a viable alternative to using dirt cover that takes up no landfill airspace. This landfill tarp consists of a high density polyethylene material. Uh, it's a textile, a geotextile and it comes in 12-foot panels that are sewn together to create our 120-foot by 120-foot configuration. The tarp webbing system is actually a seat belt material which is sewn along the, uh, the seams uh, on 12 and 20-foot intervals along the inside of the tarp and also along the perimeter of the tarp to cover up the perimeter hem pocket which contains 3 8 inch cable. And that cable system is uh, attached to the tarp by means of steel cable clamps. When we're deploying the tarp over trash, one dozer will take each of the two leading edges, top and toe slope, and, and pull it over the trash and lay the tarp into place. So at the end of the day, when the last trash trucks and mom and pops leave, we place the tarp over the trash. And the following morning, before the first trash trucks arrive, we remove only those tarps uh, in the areas that we are going to continue with tarp placement. So rather than placing new trash on top of dirt, we're, we're merely placing new trash on top of old trash and saving that layer each and every day of a foot of six inches to one foot of, of dirt material uh, as landfill airspace. And as the months and years pass, that adds up to big dollars. We've taken a look at our two largest landfills within the existing permitted areas where we're allowed to currently place trash. We have found that we can save the county $47 million over the period of 16 years, or plus or minus $3 million a year, by maximizing the use of tarps rather than using dirt. In addition to the $47 million that the county anticipates saving with the implementation of the engineered landfill tarp system, we're looking to create the next generation landfill tarp. And we've determined that if we can hold the cost of the tarp product constant, that for the 16 tarps that we have countywide, eight at each of the two sites, um, if we can double the life, we can save about $80,000 a year, if we can quadruple the life, uh, we're looking at $120,000 a And as the years pass, that's a substantial whipped cream, nuts, and cherry on top of that hot fudge sundae. Uh, for us to receive the CSAC Challenge Award for Innovation uh, was a very humbling, as well as a very motivating experience. And we see it as an opportunity uh, to bring the conversation of engineered landfill tarp systems and uh, next generation landfill tarp products to a regional conversation within the industry, if not a national conversation.